we have not seen a pandemic like this in more than 100 years. COVID has certainly completely upended the healthcare system as, as we know it. The customer was confronted with a major problem they have never experienced before. And suddenly they had to perform tests that they've never performed in the volumes of tests that they've performed. The beginning of the process of being diagnosed is actually obtaining um, a, a sample from that potentially infected patient. I think it sounds very simple to say that we wanted to collect the right specimen with the right collection device, the right swab. But in fact, it was very complex and there are just not sufficient numbers of those swabs available in order to do all the tests that are necessary. The first goal that we specifically wanted to achieve was to just increase capacity of our current products. The second goal that we really had was to optimize our supply chain. The third goal was around expanding alternatives. And this was really around looking for additional substitute products that could be used if and when uh, a product that a customer wanted for specimen collection and transport was just not available. We established a, a team that worked together. We had Global Health that's working with international groups like the Gates Foundation. Some of our major competitors that we were working with and the swab manufacturers that we were working with and we all work towards a common goal. I think during these times of crises, you often see the best uh, come out of individuals and teams. Um, this is no different. The work that we're doing has impact and it has an impact on literally millions of people's lives.